mentioned more than two dozen shootings. Ten people were shot and killed in Chicago. The city recorded one of its highest murder rates in years. Seven people had been shot. The victim was hit in the chest and head. Shot six times. Was killed in a drive-by shooting. And a 16-year-old had been shot at Millennium Park. We're told, according to the fire department, that that person is now dead. My son named Shondell Holiday. He was killed May 14th, 2022. And my life has changed since the situation has happened. Like I've been dealing with it, I'm learning to deal with it. And I just pray that, you know, things change in Chicago. And that's all. I have a son and he's two. So I hope not to be involved or he not be involved, anybody. I believe we all have been affected by it and she has been because she's more considerate about where she'll take her son to, to a park to play, you know, because a, a shooting out of nowhere may occur that could endanger her, let alone her son's life. So it how are we going to distinguish who really is trying to go downtown and have a good time and who got a gun in their pocket waiting to just pop off and shoot somebody? Yeah. Because he looked at him wrong or he looked like the ops or, and he's, for 10 years ago, you smacked me in high school, so. He was, uh, he was a good kid. He um, liked music, he liked to rap. He um, Once upon a time, he played the drums. He uh, did backyard wrestling. Um, he did a lot of things. Well, what happened was, we was at home, and uh, I was getting dressed. He said, where you finna go? I said, I'm going outside. He was like, um, I'm about to go outside. I said, you're not going outside? I said, where you trying to go? He said, I'm going downtown. I said, you're not going downtown when you start going outside because he never goes outside. So he, um, I'm, I'm sitting at the Riverwalk and um, his friend, I, I pick up my phone. I said, let me see what my kids are doing. So as I'm in the process of calling my kids, one of his friends called and said, uh, Shondell got shot. So I'm like, where y'all at? And they was like, we at the um, Beam in Millennium Park. So I'm like, well, I'm right here. So by the time I get from the end of the river walk back to the beginning of it to get up the stairs, I see the ambulance, you know, riding past me. So I had to get to the garage, get to my car, and get to the hospital. And that's all I really know what happened. Well, now they can no longer go to Millennium Park because police will have to enforce a new rule pushed by Mayor Lori Lightfoot that they will not be allowed in Millennium Park after 6 p.m. from Thursday until Sunday. I told my son not to do something and he did it anyway. See, we all, we all were kids once too and we all did things that our parents told us not to do too. But he didn't think that when he went down there that that was going to be the, you know, the last time he would be here. How do we think it affects the issue in Chicago? It affects how you all hang out. Downtown is shut, oh, shut down. Yeah. Like there is no downtown for South and West side uh, black and colored people. There is no downtown unless it's Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday before six. There is no going downtown, going to nice places. Going. It affected how you all get to hang out outside your homes. Um, I would tell them to keep your kids at home, keep them under you, and to stay prayed up. That's all we can do. This issue happens all over the world, and it may be happening in your community, and that's why you should care.